Hey, what's going on guys? It's IT Tech Reviews here and today I will be showing you how to route the Samsung Galaxy S2X. So there will be a couple links that you will have to follow and I'll include them in the description. So this is one of the first links. The They don't get to, into too much detail on how to do the routing here but there's the second website that I found which uh, gives you a couple screenshots and goes in deeper detail of how to route your phone so basically you want to ignore the downloads off this website off android uh, forums.com but you want to get the uh, downloads off xdadevelopers.com so you want to open up this link xdadevelopers.com and you want to download uh, Odin recovery and super user and you don't really need the USB drivers unless it's uh, first time that you're actually connecting your device to your computer and you're having problems with your computer recognizing your device but I didn't have to install that so I'm pretty sure you guys don't have to do that either so after installing these actually this Odin or Odin uh, link doesn't work when you click it it uh, takes you to some bullshit so you just want to scroll down to the very bottom and then there's a download right here Odin 3 version 1.85 zip so you want to download that so in the end on your desktop you want to have three RAR files I actually um, deleted Odin so you want to have three RAR files my camera's out of focus let me try to fix that so there we go. So you want to have three RAR files. So you want to take the Odin RAR file and you want to extract it. After you're done extracting, you want to select it and just delete that. And you'll have these four files. So the next thing you want to do is you want to connect your phone to your computer via USB. And you want to turn it on. You want to have it connected you want to connect turn on USB and one more thing I also have to mention is you want to have USB debugging on so the way you do this I'll show you quickly in a second so you want to put both uh, recovery clockwork and uh, CWM super user into uh, your phone so you want to take these two RAR files that you downloaded and you want to drag them and put them in to your phone. That'll take a couple seconds. After you're done, you could um, turn off your USB. Your card will be unmounted. And to turn on USB debugging, um, you'd want to go to settings and developer options and you want to make sure that USB debugging is connected and so you have to remove your cable and uh, all this bullshit but we're gonna leave mine because my phone is charging so you just want to pull out your cable and do that so after you're done all this you want to turn off your you want to turn off your phone so you want to hold the power button and go to power off okay you want, I think you might want to just pull out your cable as well so now since uh, you downloaded all the files off this website you could pretty much close this or just keep it open but we're going to be following the instructions on Android forums because it's much more clear and you have the screenshots which you could refer to so now that everything is 
with the files is set up we're gonna figure out what step we're on so we've done this we've done this uh, okay so we're on step seven so you want to hold power off and the volume down button Let me try to do this with two hands, so one is on the volume down and on the power button. You want to hold it and let go. There we go. So it will take you to this screen and you want to make sure you're actually connected to the computer at this point and you want to go ahead and turn on Odin you select yes there it is so you will press volume up to continue and you will see that uh, the program here will start loading and once you see that the first uh, square right here this one over here it'll turn yellow and for some reason mine said something inside it I forget what it said like IDCOM 4 or something like that can't really remember what it says but after that's finished um, you want to go right here so you want to select PDA you want to select PDA actually you don't even have to have the recovery in your phone you want to just select PDA and then you select the recovery and you press open and it will load and it should say pass in this first square right here once it does that you're good to go you just want to um, turn off the Odin and you want to restart your you want to turn off your phone one more time so next thing that uh, once you turn off your phone you want to turn it back on using a volume up and down and the power button so the way it'll look like one second I just have to wait for my phone to power up so you will be pressing these two buttons the two volume buttons and the power button at the same time so we're gonna quickly um, turn off my phone and I will show you how to do this once the phone turns off Okay, we had the last vibrate and it should be off in a sec. Okay, so we are holding. There we go. So this is the screen that it takes you to. And the next step will be, so on this, I actually skipped this step. It's a backup. For some reason, when I was doing this, um, when I went to backup and restore, so you scroll down with the volume down Sorry guys, I got interrupted. So as I was saying, uh, the 11th step here, as it says, with the uh, Nandroid backup, um, for some reason for me, couldn't do it, so I just took the risk and did the routing without the backup, and it worked fine. So hopefully it works fine for you guys as well. So. This is pretty much the final step. You just want to go to 
um, install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card sorry it's choose zip from internal SD card unless you have an SD card that you put the root on but should be on this one and it will be the one here CM root super user just want to select that one right there and you press the power button and it should root your phone then you should just go back one more time go back and you just want to reboot system now and your phone should be now rooted so this is pretty much the complete guide on how to get rooted I'll include uh, links in the description if you guys have any questions just either message me through uh, the YouTube messaging system or just leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you so guys thanks for watching please give me a like or subscribe and see you in the next video thanks a lot bye